COVID and fitness. This is because it, it might be a bit of a list. How are how are the likes of Tantan, Silva, what are Havertz, Aspinaqueta, Christensen, Chalaban, anybody else that you might want to tell us about? <laughs> well, there are not so many news, which is maybe good news. So of course the long-term injuries will not come back, but uh, from this game. We just had a cramp uh, with us, Bikueta, no injury. Um, Kai's finger is uh, pretty much okay to play football, so they will take care about it, our, our doctors and, and physios. And uh, Andreas Christensen was in training yesterday, hopefully there will be no reaction. We have another training session later. I have to speak to the doctors later, like after after press conference and uh, Hopefully, stays at least the situation stays at least like this, like that, like this in a moment, because that will give us a l some more options at least. Canton, Silva, COVID-wise, are, are they okay? They uh, are, are, yeah, we, yeah, they are okay, but they are out, yeah. yes, but they are okay individually and, and in terms of symptoms, they are okay. And no one else, COVID-wise. Sweet. No, not yet, but uh, uh, also not yet everybody in the building, so let's see. Um, given how tough the last few weeks have been in terms of COVID, and, and we really hope, don't we, that the worst is, is behind us, um, and given the injuries that you've had, have your plans at all changed in terms of January and bringing people in? Well, we are discussing and we are in talks, of course, um, with uh, with the staff and the board and um, and and the scouting, of course, checking the possibilities. What we would always do, but given the fact that we have some some long term injuries, um, yeah, we're looking into the market. We're looking into the possibilities, not under the very highest pressure, and uh, things have to make sense sense for us. Um, personality-wise, position-wise, and also from quality. So, yeah, but we, we have all options and, and check our options. Mm. Given the, the difficulties that you've been having to juggle with COVID training sessions, injuries, and the Lukaku situation, that first half must have built what you absolute joy on the weekend. That was Chelsea, ruthless, back to what we had come to expect at the beginning of the season and how much of a platform can that be for you in, in the next few weeks with some really big games coming up? I like both last games against Liverpool and, and the one against Tottenham. It was not easy for, for some of the players because they came from from not a lot of minutes or they came from injury or, or, or Covid. So they stepped up and it was an important match, it was a semi-final, it was a, it was a derby in London, it was against a strong opponent, strong coach who came from a, from a good run of results. So, but uh, the way we played was so focused and uh, a lot of determination that gives us a lot of trust or more, more or less the, again the proof that we can trust our players and we can trust ourselves and that the group can trust. They have the ambition, they have the mentality to give everything and, and to try their very best in every single game. Um, from time to time, it, it, it is sometimes a bit harder and a bit sometimes feels a bit more more uh, easier. Uh, it was a, it was a strong performance uh, overall, very very focused and uh, in in yeah in all parts of the game very determined and uh, it was a nice team effort. So yeah, we are happy because it was a deserved win and and from there we go. The last two games showed a good spirit, showed good quality. And uh, it's very important not not to lose the face and not to lose the trust because we still struggle um, from 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 COVID and, and injuries, and that's why we need these kind of experiences to to not lose our face or and 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 still believe in what we do. And it was was very nice to see. Yeah, and tomorrow is the next <laughs> is the next the next moment to to prove it again. Last question. And just finally for me, yeah. Um, what do you do with this game? I mean, clearly there's a lot of players that just, after a really brutal few weeks, probably need an afternoon off. But I guess there's others like Timo Werner that, that have recovered from COVID that need a bit of game time. Yeah. How strong do you go? How much of this is an opportunity for, for other players? Are you going to be looking at your squad rather than those guys that have got Spurs and Man City next week? 
Yeah, we will find we have to find the balance in between um, because we, we want to also be, be reliable and, and, and be also fair to the guys who play now uh, after after injuries or after COVID that they also have that we have a mix with also guys who are used to uh, have some more minutes in the last games, but we need to find a, a good balance. Uh, I think uh, we have five changes, which, which gives us uh, a lot of options, which, which is good. And, and, and of course, we want to use the match to, to get some minutes into the guys who desperately need it and, and want it, like Timo, for example. And uh, yeah, but uh, it, it's still a training and it's, it's still like uh, one or two COVID tests uh, to do. So hopefully the, it, the, the situation stays at least uh, like it is now. And then we will find a, a strong lineup because we will we will show all the respect to to the G team and and the club of Chesterfield. It's it's uh, FA Cup, and uh, if you want to go to the next round, you have to win this match. Nothing else. Phil South is Thomas, can you hear me there? Yeah, you can. Hello. Um, is this again another chance for Ross Barkley? Uh, and is there a possibility he might go out on loan in January this month? We haven't discussed it yet. Uh, it depends uh, on on what Ross wants and what 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 possibilities there are, if there are possibilities, and what makes sense. So, let's see. There is uh, always a chance. It's not only about like ah oh, now is FA Cup and now you have a chance. There is always a chance to make it to the team, to the squad, and onto the pitch, uh, especially when there are a lot of COVID and and um, and and injury cases. So the situation has not changed, not for us, not for anybody else. And we will take the decision later. He needs to do a good training, show that he's ready. And then we will do a, a decision uh, tomorrow morning. Talked about the transfer market and potential players coming in. Yeah. Um, is, Emerson, is Emerson one of those? Are you keen to have him back from his loan spell? I will not give you any details on that, but in, in, in general, uh, I will not, I will not uh, hide from the fact that we have a long-term injury with, with uh, Ben Chilwell as, as our left wing back, who will miss the whole season. And uh, of course, we, we, we know him and we appreciate him as a player and as a, as, a, as a person in general. He had such a huge influence, although he did not have a lot of minutes uh, last season because he's a top guy, top professional. And, um, and he is still a Chelsea player, but it's not only what I wish for, it's also we need to, we need to, to evaluate the situation, but we're looking into it on this position and Emma is one, one of the options and I will not comment further. You've also spoken about the COVID issues, injury, injury issues. What's the last month been like for you? I mean, have you ever, ex ever experienced anything like this? before in your career and how have you dealt with it? Of course not in my career. I mean, we, we, we come now from lockdowns and we come from playing in uh, training in bubbles and, and playing without with empty stadiums. And, and now we try to manage to, yeah, to continue to train and uh, create kind of bubbles while outside everything is open and, and life continues pretty normal. And stadiums are full, which is a bit more demanding. Uh, no, we have to be very, um, very flexible, <laughs> and we have to adapt uh, on, in very short, uh, short notice to to different scenarios, which is uh, very demanding. And uh, we wished it was different, and still we are privileged to to do our job and to continue playing football, which we love. But we are at some moments, as you know, at some moments we are we are concerned about the health and uh, and the constitution of the players. Uh, in some moment, it's a, it's a bit better. It's a bit of an up and down. Ian Abraham, Talksport. Thanks, Adrian. Happy New Year to you. Hi, right, Thomas. Happy New Year. How are you? Happy New Year. Thanks. I'm fine. Good. Um, this is what the magic of the FA Cup is all about, isn't it? Chelsea with loads of money and trophies, a trophy cabinet you could run from here to central London, up against little Chesterfield. Um, and the fact that only once before, when Luke Mark Norwich eight years ago as a non-league team ever gone to a Premier League round and won. So you're, you're big favourites. I mean, this is a game you can't lose, right? You can lose any game in football. That's why the game is so popular. So you will never hear me say that we can't lose in front of the game. This will be hugely arrogant. Uh, 
this is not the attitude how we want to approach this game tomorrow. Of course, we are favorites and in uh, um, the opposite, for example, to, to, to Germany, where you would like switch the, the, the home advantage to the, to the lower team, we have the advantage of having no travel and, and uh, that we can play in front of our spectators in our stadium. So yes, we are the huge favorites. Yes, we, we, we want to win and we demand, uh, we demand it up from ourselves. Still, we respect the game and um, the, the game and, and any opponent. And uh, yeah, you can demand it from yourself if you, if you think it through in any consequence, you have to deliver and deliver performance. So we need to be, to, we need to be ready and we need to have a, a strong squad and a, and a squad that is ready to, to enjoy these, these minutes because uh, if you want to reach the next round, you need to win. And um, this, is, uh, uh, this is as, as boring as it is, but it's like this. Is there a bit of a little bit of unfinished business for you? Because last season you got to the final with Leicester and you didn't win. So is there a little bit of unfinished business for you in this competition if you'd like to go and win it this year? I think, for, except for Leicester, a lot of teams with unfinished business because only Leicester finished the business, to be honest. And uh, yeah, of course, but why to, if, if we want to go to Wembley, we need to win tomorrow and uh, should not get carried away by any thoughts and any, any thoughts of unfinished business. Tomorrow is the business. We have, enough to, we have enough to work on, we have enough to improve, we have enough to, to show uh, and, 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 and prove ourselves tomorrow on the pitch. And this is what it, what it is all about. Don't, don't judge the opponent, don't judge the importance of the game, just, just go and, and do our thing. And this is what we demand. I demand from myself and I will demand from the players. And, and finally, do you think one of the biggest signings you could make in this January transfer window will be to get Antonio Rudiger to sign a new deal? Because you've turned his fortunes around, you know, and. Um, I think that there are many, many teams around the world that would like to sign him. So, are you planning on having lots of conversations, taking him out for coffee, you know, sort of making sure that he signs on that coffee line? I don't know. I don't know if that helps. If I take him on a lot of coffees, maybe it pushes him out. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I, I don't feel that he needs a lot of coffees with me, and uh, he's a guy who needs uh, who needs to to trust you on a, on a on a on a. He needs to feel the connection. He needs to feel the trust, and he he wants to to feel it by minutes and by actions. He's not. I don't. I don't feel Tony that he needs a lot of words and a lot of pampering and, and coffee talks and 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 invitations to dinners and whatever. He is a top professional. This is what he proves. He is very important. Nothing has changed. We are in, in talks. It's in good hands because I trust the club 100% and I have uh, trust in my player. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a no problem situation for me. Obviously also for, for, for Tony, he can, he can still deliver. He did a fantastic match now in, in a back four. And uh, um, uh, so He's uh, super reliable. Nothing has changed. The, the the points of view have not changed. And once something changes, you will be one of the first to know. Last question in this section, Jerry Fox. Hi, Thomas. Hi. I know um, earlier in the season you said you saw no reason to change from the back three, but um, you played the back back four yeah. against Spurs at, at, with great effect. It really seemed to unlock your um, attacking instincts and so on. Is that something you'll now consider more going forward? Yes, but it has to make sense. Uh, I always told you, uh, why, why should we change? It's successful and, and it suits our players. But for a back three, you need three central defenders. For a back five, you need three and two wing backs. We simply did not have uh, the players available to, to play a back five. So uh, we took the responsibility and the risk and, and uh, shifted into a back four uh, while we were attacking. This is uh, this possible. I think that the differences are not that big. If it suits the players and their positions, which, which it did for this game, we should be always open for it. But uh, the most important is how we play in, in the system and, and how lively we play and how, how courageous we are within the structure. Structure is important for us and, and we protect ourselves with structure and, we, and the structure can help us uh, to be stronger as a, as a team. 
but uh, the most important uh, will always be like how the players live up to it and they did very very good they were very focused very uh, and and uh, yeah also very lively within the structure very disciplined at the same time so it suited us good for this game we did good but um, and and it can stay an option um, but uh, no no matter what we play the how we play this is more important